Hello guys, today I want to show you three new blade directives, blade helpers, that would help in edit forms and they were released in Laravel 9. Two of them in Laravel 9, one of them in Laravel 9.1. And those are checked, selected and disabled. Let me show you a demo. So I've generated a simple CRUD table with our quick admin panel. If you want to generate something like this, go to quickadminpanel.com and what we're interested in is edit form for the record. It's a simple edit form with input field, text, then select dropdown with a few options, and then a checkbox. And how do we usually define the selected value here and the checked value here? Let me show you in the code before Laravel 9, in the old code of Laravel. So in the select, we have for each of the options. In my case, the options are inside of the model, and we have something like this. So we have selected or empty based on condition and condition is alt department, which comes from the filled in form if there are validation errors from the session or task department, the real value, is it equal to the key of the option or not? So in Laravel 9, you can make this shorter with such syntax as selected and then the condition inside. The condition should be true, which means that we copy here or actually cut here like this and we delete all of that actually let's not delete let's just compare uh, compare the length so this one versus this one so it's shorter right selected and condition so you don't need those brackets you don't need this condition with ternary operator so if we delete that one now and we refresh let's see if it's the same result yeah finances are still selected the second one really similar thing is about checked the checkbox. So in the checkbox we have input, name, value, it could be default value or not. And this is the actual condition of whether the checkbox is checked or not. Similar thing, ternary operator in PHP checked depending on condition and condition depends on task is completed from the database or old value from the session. So we do checked and then copy paste the same condition like this see it's also shorter and let's delete that one and refresh the page and see if the checkbox is still checked it is so it still works so checked is another blade directive to make it shorter and the third one which appeared in laravel 9.1 so those two you can find in laravel blade documentation in actually in release notes here version 9 release contains checked and selected blade directives by Ash Allen and Taylor Otwell. And in 9.1, they released another one, disabled. So for example, what if you want this field to be disabled if the task is completed? Easy. We go to that text field and we add, for example, here, disabled and then condition. Condition could be task is completed, for example, which is the field from the database. And then we refresh and the field is disabled. So again, you could write that in if statement or ternary operator. So if task is completed, then disabled. But this Laravel helper makes it shorter for you. And again, it was released in Laravel 9.1. There's a new release of Laravel version every Tuesday, every week. So if you are on Laravel 9 and you run Composer Update, it should upgrade you to the latest 9.x version. And you can easily check your current version by running PHP artisan dash dash version. It will show you the exact version, the major and the minor version of Laravel framework. And again, if you want to generate something like this, simple CRUD management with rows and permissions and more modules, we have quickadminpanel.com and we do support Laravel 9. So while creating a new project, you choose one of the three generators, which is jQuery, Vue.js or Livewire. And then when creating, for example, a new project, you can choose Laravel version, Laravel 9 being the default one. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.